hello and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new we're a dollar tree it's been so long so long that they have christmas are you ready let's shop so i walked in here and i was actually very surprised to see christmas surprised but not surprised but you know what i mean that's how long it's been they already have the christmas out starting off with these garlands these are actually really cute notice how they have like these little different themes this one is my favorite because it's that vintage string of light bulbs look to it and then they also have these right here and also by the way before i forget if you are still wanting to see fall stay till the end because there is some new fall that they brought in as well so christmas yes but still a little hint of fall, which is the actual season we're in right now. But as Christmas comes in, you know I have to show it to you, especially at Dollar Tree, because most of this will be gone by next week. And that is just the truth of the matter. So if you're not familiar with Dollar Tree, which I feel like most of us are, you know this will be gone and if you didn't know now you know it'll be gone and not everything is in yet so this is what they have thus far i will definitely be back hopefully by next week they have like all of the ornaments superly nice superly <laughs> super nicely displayed like they did last year i was so happy the way they display everything last year it was really cool OMG, that gnome, that is not the last of the gnomes you're going to see. It is the year of the gnomes at Dollar Tree. They have, they actually did it last year too, but I almost feel like they brought in even more. So if you love gnomes, Dollar Tree is where it's at because they have lots of variety and it's only a dollar. So here's another gnome right here. No, this is not a gnome. What am I saying? That is not a gnome. That's a little elf. Just kidding. That's a little elf. See how like the ornaments are not fully in yet? They had this little Santa last year though. And then this one, I kept trying to see like, is this two in here? I think it was just the one. Like I said, I'm looking forward to when these um, ornaments are really nicely displayed and when they bring in all of them look at this little guy right here i feel like he's new i don't remember seeing him before a lot of these are the ones that we've seen in previous years so they tend to bring back the same ones and then they'll like trickle in a few new ones this one is also an old school one I've seen this one before for sure This guy right here gets DIY'd like crazy. Look at these little birds. These birds, <laughs> they seem a little sad to me. I must say, those little birds, I don't even know if a DIY can save those birds right there. But hey, maybe some of you guys can work your DIY magic on those. The glittery like big stars are back. The Santa belt buckle basket. That's not a basket. Bin. Pail. It's something, but it's back. We've seen it before. So are these little mugs right here. So these mugs are a little bit smaller than what you would find in other stores, which makes them perfect for a tear tray. So there's that. These placemats that are super like disorganized. And then the little camper love it all of the pot holders a few different ones the little red truck and of course a little snowman that tree looks super traditional here's another placemat right here and then behind it is santa the santa one is not bad i don't mind that one at all some flannel tablecloths and then these bows these bows are cold classic at this point they are super popular every year i can't wait to see the other bows oh when they do like the um 
the print, not the print, like the, what am I thinking of? Help me out. Like the buffalo check vibe. Speaking of buffalo check, here's a gnome. I only saw this one and I can't wait to see the rest of the signs. That's the other thing. The signs. Those should be good. Excited for those. Excited for the ornaments and the signs. Yes. Look at these. I think some of these are new. The little miniature stockings. Very, very cute. These headbands I love from Dollar Tree. I would not buy them anywhere else. Those um, string of light, light up necklaces. Love those. They also make the headband. A little jingle jangle there. They also make the headband. I buy them every year, both the necklaces and the headband. And we wear them to go to our local, like, um, Festival of Lights is what it's called here. So we go and see all the lights. Like, you know those. Do you guys have that? Let me know. Does your area where you live have, like, a Festival of Lights where you can go and drive through the lights and see all the Christmas lights. It's basically become one of our family traditions. We love going every year. And when we do, we wear the light up necklaces and the headbands, super festive and very, very fun. Hours you actually get to get out, like you drive through. And then if you want to get out, you don't have to, but if you want to get out, you can. And they have like activities and you can roast marshmallows, which is my favorite thing to do. And now, the ribbons! Who doesn't want to wear the ribbon? So good, guys. Dollar Tree does it. They do it with the ribbons, especially for Christmas, I feel. And again, let me remind you, these will be gone by next week. If you're a ribbon person and you like to get them from Dollar Tree, you probably already know. But in case you're looking into starting such a thing, if you want ribbon from Dollar Tree, get there like straight away right now. Go pause the video, come back and continue watching it. <laughs> Don't abandon me. Don't leave me forever. Just go and get the ribbon and come back because it will be gone. They have such good ribbon and it sells out immediately. And look at this one. Look at this one. The little red truck, except that it's plaid. And then, that's the word I was looking for, the gnomes. Did they have this last year? I do not remember a gnome uh, ribbon last year. So I think that's one of the new items. Plaid, plaid, that's what I was thinking of. Who was, who was yelling at the TV screen saying, it's plaid, you're thinking of plaid. <laughs> And then there's these. These I think they had last year. I think so. Either way, even if they didn't, they have them this year. So if you want that mesh, go get it. Now, because it'll be gone very, very soon. Now here is the section with all of the crafting items. Lots of things for the kids. Little like paint projects and such also sells out very quickly which always surprises me but it does i guess maybe teachers get it also for their classes i mean i don't know if that's happening this year like that but it's here and it's very very cute these i don't remember these might be new i'm not 100 percent sure they also have them in a little tree so the heart the tree and then a yellow star back there i thought that was very cute and then this little guy, like a little pick. And the words are back. Peace, joy, and belief. The galvanized words. They've been very popular for like the past three or four years at this point. And here is more mesh. This is like puffy mess mesh. Like, I don't know. It's, it's cute to me. I like it. Raffia in three different colorways. I feel like that goes quickly too because I, I, I feel like I never see it. I got lucky today. I got lucky going in here and seeing all of this because like I said, a lot of it will be gone immediately. Here is some of the crafting ornaments. Of course, you know I love the clear. These white ones though are really nice too. 
and this one is a pack of two so the smaller ones are a pack of two the bigger ones is just the one and then little crafting jars with the different lids i think that's different this year too if i recall correctly they had the jars before but i don't remember them having different lids Now here's a little hint of signs right here. Uh, this is the gnome collection. Like I told you, it's all about the gnomes. You could put a little gnome DIY situation together right here. That's really cute. I actually really like that. Here's a few of the gnome signs and then the whole collection of the gnome garland. You can get them in the white, the red, the green, and then this little basket also. Who's going to do the gnomes? Show of hands, who's doing gnomes this year? I know a lot of people love the gnomes. I think they're super cute. That's not how I like to decorate, but they are very cute. Actually, one of my sisters does love the gnomes. I think she kind of does it for her kids also, if I recall correctly. Either way, though, if you're into gnomes, look out for Dollar Tree. These tiny babies, my favorite those are so cute those tiny baby trees love this little bucket is back and then these little trees they're cute very glittery as you can see and they do light up but turns out this one didn't want to light up for me and i did not want to take out the little you know the little thing from the bottom so sorry about that here's this glittery glittery <laughs> It's a glittery ornament. Those are very popular. Now here's what's happening. This is how I usually know that I walked into my Dollar Tree on like the day that they put out the stuff because the floral section is intact, okay? And they have all of the Christmas florals. If my floral section is not right, I just know like, okay. For some reason, the florals go so, so quick. This one is cute, but it has glitter on it. And then I noticed that they also have the same exact thing right here, the berries and the pine cone. No, are these pine cones? Yes, these are pine cones, not acorns. I confused the two. I'm sure you guys have noticed. <laughs> but this one has no glitter. That's good, I like that. This is a good one right here. Very popular. It probably sold out as soon as I walked out the store. <laughs> Could I exaggerate anymore? But it's kind of not an exaggeration. You know it. Now here is the fall. Did you make it to the fall? Yes. Sunflower vibes. Then these pumpkin vibes. This is the collection I like better. So this is like the little... It was just the one tray in the front, but this is actually like the sunflower display right here. So they have, so this is like, you know, harvest, Thanksgiving, all the nice little vibes there. This guy right here, you get a pack of two. So it's two of these and it's all the sunflower stuff for, you know, your napkins, your throwaway plates and such. Here's the pumpkin. Of course, I, I gravitate towards that. There's like a bunch of sunflower stuff, but I'm like, ooh, let me grab the pumpkin one. I just love it. This is a pack of 14. The other one is a pack of 24, the smaller ones. As I stare at it because I can't see. <laughs> that is why I just, I can't see even though I'm wearing my glasses. Now here's the one I really love, the pumpkin one. This guy right here, I only saw this one. So I don't know if they're still putting these out or if they already sold out. Then they also have these cups, happy fall. these leaf trays they bring them out every year they have them in three different colorways they usually also have like a really big one i didn't see that one and then they also do have the tablecloths and such look at how cute this is so cute and it includes the sunflowers so it's really pumpkin and sunflowers with that one the plates are my favorite they look so nice to me 
Now, the real deal stuff, meaning not the throwaway. All the things, the dish, drying rack, plate, placemats, cups. This one says grateful. Look at this one. This placemat is actually really nice. I was pretty impressed by that one, especially if you like to do the black and white buffalo check. These glasses, this placemat is also, let me, actually, Dollar Tree, you're doing it right now with the placemats, really, both for fall and Christmas. They're not bad at all. These plates, love. Like this plate with a different plate on top and even the chargers. Yes, please. Now here's the other collection. Even though you can kind of, you know, intermingle them together. A little orange plate. See, you could do like that other plate that I just showed and then this little orange plate on top. This placemat is number one. Oh, I forgot about this tray. Who's going to be DIYing this tray? Let me know in the comments. That is such a good, and I don't do DIYs, but I know that so many people that love to do DIYs will take that tray and transform it. It is so good. And again, it will be gone. Look at how many they have. They had to have just put these out. This is the silver. So if you don't want the little tiny like circle bubble things that the other one had all the way around the edges, you could do the smooth one. Yes. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And let's keep the party going by clicking on one of these videos right here on the screen. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.